Good afternoon everybody. Here we have my latest creation. It is an all-in-one generator. It's a solar generator and um, it's a complete package. It has, believe it or not, the uh, solar panel with it. It comes in three sections. I'll now show you the three sections. First of all, you have the front cover, you have the centre and you have the rear. Okay, the front is just the fascia, I'll show you. It actually weighs 19.5 kilograms, so it's quite heavy, but it would be because it's got two batteries in it and the solar panel. So if I just show you to start with, I take off the back section to start. It's a complete package. And here we have the solar panel. Take out the solar panel. Okay. Put the solar panel to one side. And now you put the back panel back on. Let me just show you in the back panel. You can see all the circuitry, which I'll show you in video number three. Video number two, I'll be doing a field test just to show you a lot of things that it can actually run. Things like fans, coolers, everything like that, lights and everything. But what I'll be doing is I'll be going out into the middle of nowhere just to show you that it actually works. So now I'm putting the back section back on. Okay. I'll take off the cover. And here we have the unit itself. I'll just zoom in a little bit so that you can see what we have here. As I say, we have the solar panel. This is basically a 50 watt solar panel. Uh, 2 times 25 watts, okay, simple as, I've changed the handle because the handle that it came with was pretty rubbish, I'll just put that to the side for now because today we will not be using the solar panel, okay, I'll show you the whole thing functioning on the field test, but anyway, here we go. First of all, you've got the sun coming into the solar panel, and first of all, it will go to uh, a shot key diode. Yeah, uh, that will stop discharging when there is no sun, and it prevents reverse discharging as well. Okay. Once that comes in, it comes in here, and it will go then after the diode. It'll go to the fuse, okay, and it'll then go to the panel cutoff. So the actual panel is attached negative and positive here. Okay, now, um, so you've got your power coming in, okay. Now, uh, here you have a charge controller, 30 amp charge controller, okay. Uh, the panel after, it, after the panels come in to the uh, panel cutoff, it then goes in to the left-hand side of the charge controller, which is uh, the input of the uh, power from the sun, the 12 volts. Okay? Now, 
the second point uh, is the battery outage from the charge controller and that goes out plus minus out to the fuses okay and then down to the battery cutoff which is here and then to the batteries which are in parallel uh, that keeps it at 12 volts if it was in series it would boost it up to 24 volts uh, the two batteries that I have here are 22 ampere hours each so that makes a total of 44 ampere hours uh, in parallel if they are in series there would still be 22 ampere hours yet 24 volts ok so with that said your panels are now uh, charging the batteries ok uh, the sun comes in goes to the charge controller through the bits the protection bits uh, and then to the batteries to charge the batteries ok then uh, you've got on your charge controller the out uh, which is the basically 12 volt outage ok and what I've got here is it comes out it goes again through the fuses ok and then basically to the 12 volt outlets we have three outlets here 12 volts 12 volts 12 volts they're both they're all similar to your car uh, cigarette outlets as you can see and then I just put uh, a USB outlet there as well okay also uh, from the batteries um, you've got power coming up to the power inverter this is a 300 watt power inverter which actually has a USB slot here as well so um, an extra USB slot to charge your batteries and things like that and um, basically uh, the 12 volts comes in uh, at this point here and it comes out at this point here coming out at 220 volts UK 220 240 volts which will then go from there again to the fuse box out to the switch and out to the 220 volt outlet right now I said I'm going to do a field test shortly which I will be doing but just to show you right now that it is working just to give you a quick demonstration this is just the unit itself as you can see okay and uh, just to show you quickly I will demonstrate just by putting this 220 volt fan in here ok first of all uh, the battery is obviously cut off at the moment nothing's on so turn the battery on turn the unit on charge controller 82% battery charge ok turn on the power inverter White, red, uh, green light comes on turn the switch on for the 220 volt mains and off we go so here we go I will just take the, uh, the camera away zoom back and let's get to the fan so let's try it on first there we go and that's working uh, straight from the generator not, uh, the, back, the um, solar panels are not plugged in as yet if they were plugged in I would imagine they would run directly off the panels and not even consider touching the batteries especially uh, with the weather that we've got here ok that's at number one that's at number two there's my Adirondack chair that I made a while ago completely finished and lacquered and it's very very comfortable anyway back to this that's at number two even more powerful and that's beautiful that I could do with that I tell you right now but anyway that's the unit um, I will be doing two more videos 
In the second video, as I say, I will be going out on a field test whereby I'll be testing things um, like a cooler unit, um, maybe uh, you know, showing you charging phones, laptops, or uh, you know, my iPod. Maybe uh, it can charge ca uh, car batteries. You can use it for your TV, your fridge, a cooler, lights, radio, fan. Not all together. I mean, you know, uh, I think uh, it would the surge, the, the power uh, from the units would be too much. It's, I mean, basically, it's only like a standby unit. Armageddon, you know, the end of the world. Go up the hill. See our hill at the back there. All right. So, at the very end of the world, then. Uh, I'll be going up there with my little box and I'll be okay with my radio. What it won't do, it won't work things like your washing machine, your hair dryer, electric heating, toaster, electric oven or your aircon unit. I mean, anything with an element, you know, electrical element, things like that, that, that just won't work, you know. Um, you'd have to uh, really boost the um, solar power and boost the batteries and boost the power inverter. This is just a small unit. Uh, to get you by in the first few days of uh, desperation or whatever. But, I mean, again, you can use this on your boat, in your caravan, uh, you know, camping, hiking, whatever. I mean, I wouldn't like to, <laughs> I wouldn't like to walk around hiking with it, I must admit. Um, you know, this uh, little sort of trolley effect um, is really, really good uh, for carting around on relatively flat surfaces but you can carry it I mean it is 19 and a half kilograms which is how much is that 19 and a half, 20 about 45 pounds I would imagine something like that in weight so you know you can uh, it is mobile but not um, you know not fantastically mobile but it's an all-in-one unit as you can see as I say there's the back piece uh, where the panel goes um, I was thinking of putting a very similar back piece, a similar thing like the back piece to the front. Uh, you know, making, uh, bringing another panel in, so I would then have a hundred watts. But at this stage, I think I'm quite all right with this. Um, it's fine for me at the moment. Well, all I'm using it for right now is to charge all of my batteries. I mean, I've got um, uh, the lights under my kitchen cabinets are uh, battery operated. There's uh, four lights there. Each each light takes four batteries, so there's 16 batteries there. So you know I'm charging things like that. I'm charging all the time, charging batteries, charging my phone, charging my laptop, things like that. So you know I've got free power all the time with uh, uh, things like that as well. So you know again the fan. I will show you it working with cooler units and things like that. Uh, and radios and everything like that, uh, CDs uh, on the um, on the field test. Now the third video and final video is will be uh, the circuit diagram. I'll go through the circuit diagram, how I wired it up, and everything like that. And then, if you want a copy of the circuit diagram, you will be able to download a copy of it. So, you know, any I'm not going to say uh, this is how you do it. I'm going to say this is how I do it, so please, you know, uh, you do it however you wish. But this works fine for me, and I'm very happy with it. Anyway, finally, let me just show you something a friend of mine did for me. Here we go. This is a lovely oil painting of my hero, Jimi Hendrix, in Spain. Okay? I just thought I'd show you that. I hope you like it and I hope you like my little Jenny Rater. Thank you very much and I'll, I'll catch up with you when I do my field test. Bye bye for now.